Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad you're here. Hey, Jessica. Look at you being all punctual. <laughs> Jessica, are you type A? I only ask because I'm also a little bit type A, but you always seem to be so on time. I'm glad you're here. Can you guys let me know in the chat too if you can hear everything okay? We don't seem to be having the issue we had last week at the start, which is awesome. Hey, Mike. Glad you guys are here. We'll get started here in just a second. We'll get started maybe in a minute or so. Give people the chance to join us that have their notifications on. Appreciate it. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, should be a really fun video today. We've got, I thought it was going to be 16 polishes and one lotion, but we actually ended up having a surprise extra one come in today. <laughs> if you've already been doing your wishes thing, you might know which one that is right there, but I didn't know if it was going to make it on time, and it did, and I'm so glad because look how pretty it is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that should be a fun time. Fun, fun time. All right, well, we will go ahead and get started. Oh, yay. I'm glad you got to make it even for a little bit. Welcome, Sarah. I hope you had an awesome Friday and a good work day. Carolina. Hey, hey. Hey, LaTonda. I'm so glad you guys are here. Thanks for coming to hang out with me. I love doing lives. You're so fun. Hey, Felisa. Happy Friday. Woo. <laughs> So happy. I love Friday. Every, I mean, I'm not unique in that. Everybody loves Friday, right? <laughs> um, so I was saying just a second ago, I thought I'd have 17 items. I actually have 18, which is super exciting. So same kind of deal as before. I'm going to swatch them for you on two coats on each nail and um, show them to you built up in three coats with a glossy top coat on a swatch wheel. And we'll just chat about it. You can ask questions, all that good stuff. But if you've never shopped Tele Handmade Creations before, a little information for you. It's a monthly shop. It opens every month on the 14th. So it's very consistent. Every month on the 14th, it opens. And it's open through the 21st. So you have quite a bit of a window there to shop. Um, they don't just sell nail polish, although that's most of what I have to show you today. They also sell wax hand and body care, stickers, and some really yummy candy. I'm obsessed with their pineapple 3D candy. It's amazing. Um, they are a pre-order site, so when you order the polishes or the items, you can expect for them to show up at your house in about four weeks after you purchase them. That's pretty standard. Um, but yeah, it's a really good, really great site. Dawn is the person who owns it. She is um, under a hula moon, and they sell wax through the shop, um, or owns it, I guess, organizes it, I don't know, but uh, yeah, love Hella Handmade Creations. So we're going to jump right in. So we'll start with our lotion that we have today. It's from Heather's Hughes. <laughs> it's their Wits Lotion, which stands for What is This Sorcery Lotion, and I think that's such a funny name. Hey, April, glad you're here. Hey, Daniela. Um, so this tub comes in a two ounce jar and the scent this month is chocolate chips for breakfast. <laughs> um, it's a blend of sweet milk chocolate chips, creamy butter with hints of vanilla and rich maple syrup. The tub's going to retail for $7.25 and there is a 28 tub cap. If you haven't used this lotion before, it's awesome. It's got some of my favorite ingredients when I shop for lotions. When I look for a good lotion, I always look for aloe vera because I find that that's a common ingredient in lotions I like. They tend to be very light. Um, but it's got lots of nourishing oils too, like avocado oil, sweet almond oil. So it does have oils from seeds and nuts in case you're allergic or have sensitivity. Um, it's got jojoba oil um, and lots of awesome extracts as well as vitamin E and glycerin. So it's super moisturizing, but it's not too heavy. So I think it's a really great lotion um, to use in the summer. It's probably great for some people in the winter too. My hands get kind of dry. They stay kind of dry. Um, so I love it for the summer. And the scent is dead on like chocolate chip muffins or cho probably, ooh, chocolate chip pancakes with maple syrup. <laughs> it smells very good. Super sweet, but not overwhelming. Yeah. So that's the Wits Lotion. There is a 28 uh, tub cap, like I said. It's probably going to sell out because it always does. So if you like it, 
make sure you're there when the shop opens on the 14th so you can snag it. All right, jumping into the polishes and we're gonna go in rainbow order. Hey Britt, glad you're here. We're gonna start with our reds. We have quite a few reds and pinks. Ooh, you know I'm excited about that. <laughs> I love reds and pinks. So we're gonna start with one I swatched or I shared my swatches on my Instagram today. There we go, from Caloris to Carol. Let me zoom in just a bit. So Caloris to Carol is continuing their Spider-Man series this month. They bring us the new kid in town. The new kid in town. It's not, um, it's not hairspray. I think that's hairspray. <laughs> it's Spider-Man, but that's what I think of when I read the name. Anyway, this polish is described as being a bright red jelly with holographic micro glitters and black shreds. It retails for $12.50 and there is no cap. Lots with no caps this month and I love that. I do too, uh, Carolina. Yeah, it's really fun. And I feel like the shreds in here make it super edgy. Look at those glitters. Really pretty. It is, Carolina. This is their last month. Thank you for reminding me. So next month they will start a new series, I believe. Is that right, Carolina? So the glitters in here do create a little bit of texture, but it's not um, actually too bad because they're so small. I still, when I swatched it, put a glitter smoothing top coat on top of it, but I wouldn't say it's necessary for this one. And the glitters also make it a little bit tough to remove. So there's one coat of Polaris de Carol, the new kid in town. Oh, love the glitter. And I love Caloris de Carol's jelly formulated polishes. They're so smooth and beautiful. I agree, it's super pretty. Hey Caroline, glad you're here. So we'll loop back around to that one and add a second coat here in a second. For now, we'll move on to our next red, which is from Cuticula this month. It's called Lightning Speed. They're continuing their Disney Parks series with this pretty. It's described as being a racer red jelly base with gold crystal chameleon flakes iridescent shifting flakes, gold and bronze metallic flakes, and a shattered galaxy glitter. So a whole lot going on in there. It's going to retail for $12.50 and there's no cap. This is another one. I feel like, you know, Color Stick Carol does the um, jelly polishes so well. Cuticula does these flaky bombs so well. She does a lot of these and I love every one. <laughs> so I'm glad she does a lot of them. All right, let's go with an, our first coat of Cuticula Lightning Speed. This one has a more jelly-like base, but tons of those flakies come out on the first coat. And the base color also deepens a little bit as you build it up. So there's one coat of Lightning Speed from Cuticula. Super pretty. Man, those metallic flakes like glow gives this one kind of a foily look. I like it. All right, now moving on to different dimensions offerings. It's not a red, but at some angles it kind of looks like a red. So I put our reds and pinks together this month so we could compare a little bit. So different dimension brings us, he's not the sun, you are. There we go. <laughs> oh, so pretty. I love this one. Um, they're continuing their Grey's Anatomy series. Yay! Thank you, Carolina. Good to know Chloris the Carol's coming back next month with a new series. Hey, Heidi! Glad you're here. So this different dimension is described as a raspberry jelly polish, and it's loaded with orange to green to gold aurora shimmers and holographic micro flakes. It's going to retail for $12, and it has no cap. So, so pretty. And with that rich base color, it kind of makes the hollow look a little bit purpley, pinky. Oh, gosh. Yes, yes. You guys know I love a shimmer. I think that is my very favorite finish of all time. Shimmers that shift with a holographic. Every time I, have a, I see a polish with that, I have to get it. And when I wear it, I love it so much. So here's our first coat of different dimension. He's not the sun. You are nice and opaque on that first coat i'll say pretty consistently different dimension polishes are usually one coater or one coater two coaters for me which is awesome 
So there's, he's not the sun you are. Look at that hollow and that shimmer. And if you missed it, earlier this week I posted a different dimension video on my channel reviewing their Let's Glow collection, which launched this, launched this <laughs> morning. Um, if you missed that, you should definitely go check it out because there were some gorgeous, gorgeous neons in there. It was really pretty. All right, we'll come back to that one and add a second coat. I agree. The formula and the base color is like everything. So pretty. Oh, you love grays? Oh, man. I don't want to go on a tangent again, but I have a love-hate relationship with grays. <laughs> I love it and I hate it. It makes me kind of sad, but it also makes me so happy. <laughs> All right, since we're kind of on a roll with pinks here, I did want to show you the, the cuticula and the different dimensions side by side. We're going to keep going with pinks, and Cupcake Polish brings us a gorgeous pink this month. They do pinks so well. Um, I got three pinks from them in the mail today that I ordered because <laughs> they had a sale. It might still be going on. Um, but anyway, this is Imagination. They're continuing their Dolly Parton series this month. And it's described as being a hot pink jelly nail polish filled with silver holographic flakies. It retails for $13 and there is no cap. I know. We're, we're th three, four polishes in, guys, and it's already like, <sighs> they're already gorgeous. <laughs> so many gorgeous options for four polishes in. We're in trouble. All right, going in with the first coat of Imagination from their Dolly Parton series. And it's got a gorgeous jelly formula as well, just packed with those holographic flakies. And I love this kind of bright pink shade for summer. You guys know I love pinks anyway, but it's like a bright, fun Barbie pink. Really, Heidi? I had no idea. <laughs> a perfume. I'll have to uh, find that. Yeah, I love Dolly. She's amazing. Gorgeous. So that's Imagination from Cupcake Polish. And then we're going to add one more on this hand from Bluebird Lacquer. They're bringing us a pink too. And it's Della Della Spoonville, y'all. Guys, the names. Bluebird Lacquer has some of the funniest names, I think. They crack me up every single time. <laughs> so they're bringing us Della Della Spoonville, y'all. I'm not making it up. And it is continuing their Beautiful Birds Around the World series. It's inspired by the Roseate. I hope I'm saying that right. The Roseate Spoon Build. And it's described as being a bright pink jelly filled with shifting iridescent flakes. It's going to retail for $12 and there's no cap. And always Bluebird Lacquer donates one bottle of every polish sold to a rescue. Um, this month they're donating to Feline Fix, which is a nonprofit spay and neuter center. Right, Jessica? I should have swatched this whole hand last so I could have just kept them on. <laughs> they actually look pretty together. <laughs> oh, yeah, I should have known, Carolina, that you would love that pink. You're all about pinks right now, right? All right, so let's go in with our first coat of Della Della Spoonbill, y'all. That name. <laughs> just makes me happy. On application, this one's really smooth and easy to work with. It has kind of a crelly formula. So it's a little bit squishy, but definitely not a jelly. And those flakies are really pretty in there. There's one coat of Bluebird Lacquer, Della Della Spoonbill, y'all. <laughs> I agree, Jessica. Maybe I should just end the stream here and uh, leave leave these on my nails. <laughs> just kidding. I'll come back to it. I'll come back to them. I'll uh, re-swatch it maybe as a skittle after this is over. <laughs> So let's go in for our second coat on all of these. Starting with the Colores de Carol, the new kid in town, with all those gorgeous holographic glitters and black shreds. This one was passable in two coats. I think I could easy get away with two coats on my nail length. It was opaque enough, but I did, when I swatched it, went in for three coats just because I wanted more um, black shreds. They're not hard to get out, but I think the layered look of them is really, really cool. So there are two coats of the new kid in town. Lots of gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous sparkle. 
<laughs> Lots of gorgeous sparkle with this one, and the black shreds are just so edgy. And my dogs are barking. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so pretty. Oh, goodness. We're just getting started. <laughs> oh, goodness. There are more pretties coming. But I'm glad you like what we have so far. I do, too. You guys know I love red and pink. All right, we're going in with our second coat of Cuticula Lightning Speed with their Disney Park series. All of those beautiful flakes. It is so pretty, Heidi. This one I felt was great in two. If you've got longer nails, you may need three for this one, but I think most will be good in two. So there are two coats of Cuticula Lightning Speed with all of those beautiful metallic flakes. It's like kind of foily, really fun. And then going in with our second coat of the Different Dimension offering, He's Not the Sun You Are. Oh, their gorgeous shifting shimmer. Look at that shimmer, y'all. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> and the pretty hollow flakes, too. So delicate. And this one's for sure going to be a two-coater. I can't imagine really anybody needing more than two coats with this one. I think at my nail length, I could have gotten away with one coat. But there are two coats of... He's not the sun, you are from Different Dimension. That one's really pretty. And then going in with a second coat of cu cupcake polish, excuse me, Imagination. That pretty pink. I love their new brushes, by the way. They got new brushes maybe a month ago, and they're this wide flat paddle brush. Oh, it makes application so easy. Two coats is good for me in this one. If you've got longer nails, you might need three though. So there are two coats of imagination. Oh my gosh, this color. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite shades of pink. So bright and fun. Cupcake polish, imagination. Are you drooling, Jessica? <laughs> they are really pretty. And then the last one on this hand is from Bluebird Lacquer, Dollar Dollar Spoonbill, y'all with all of those beautiful iridescent flakies. Oh gosh. When they catch the light, I love iridescent flakies when they catch the light. This one was pretty opaque on the first coat. So I think it is going to be good for two for most people. Oop, and I got one rogue flaky sticking out. <laughs> So there are two coats of Dalla Dalla Spoonbill, y'all. Super bright. And I hope my camera is picking up just how bright that is. Like, it, it's a neon. I'm going to say it's a neon. <laughs> it's really bright. Super, super pretty. So here are what those look like on the swatch wheel built up in three coats. The Colorista Carol, I did add a glitter smoothing top coat um, because those micro glitters created just a little bit of texture. Um, the rest are fine with just a regular glossy top coat, and these are all built up in three coats. So let me know if you um, plan to pick up any of those five, or just if any of those five caught your eye. I am curious. And then we'll move on. Woo! That was exciting. Then we'll move on, like I was saying, to our greens next, because we don't have any oranges or yellows to share this time. Oh, yay, Brett. Yeah, it's still a little bit. We still have a few days until the shop opens up. But I do love that Hella Handmade Creations has their options, um, their site open for preview. I think they open it on the first of every month. And I think I have the Hella Handmade Creations site link in the description box. So if you click on that link, you can check out all the polishes that I'm showing you today, plus some others that are offered that I just don't have to share. Um, and see them swatched on some other skin tones and some macro shots, that kind of thing. Yeah, I love being able to preview because I'm a planner. 
<laughs> I like knowing what's coming so I don't panic by. Hey, JPT, you made it just in time. Those are good choices, Heidi. Both so pretty. By the way, I'm wearing under my polishes the Under a Hula Moon base coat. And all of them have on top of them the Cuticula Limitless Quick Dry Top Coat, which is one of my faves. So I'm quite curious, you guys, if you had your own polish brand <laughs> and you got to participate in Hella Handmade Creations, what is one, or just in general, what is one theme you would like to see in Hella Handmade Creations? Because I really like that the makers get to choose their themes. I'm curious what is one theme that you would like to see. I'll say I always really like the Disney princess themes. Rogue's doing um, Little Mermaid, which is one of my favorite Disney princesses. Love that. Um, and then I was talking to Carolina today um, from Gotta Love Polish, and I was like, oh my gosh, what if they did a Sims <laughs> theme? I would love that. I would love to see a Sims. They could do, um, each polish could be a different um, family in the Sims, like they could have a goss, um, polish, you know, if you don't play Sims, you're probably like, what is she talking about? Sorry. <laughs> but that's what I would really like. Hey, Big Teal. Yup. Me too, uh, Carolina. These reds and pinks have dri driven me crazy this month. I'm so excited about them. And I feel like we've gotten a lot more reds um, here recently than we usually do. Usually I'm always wanting indies to make more reds, but I feel like we've had a lot of reds here lately, and I'm all about it. Okay, so we're moving on to the greens next. You take your and the bluebird is on fire. It is. It's bright, you guys. That bluebird is crazy crazy bright and the cuticula is super foiled can you look at them up close Ooh, got a dog here <laughs> oh, so pretty i kind of just don't want to leave this little section this is my happy place right here <laughs> Ooh, jpt i would get down with a hocus pocus theme i'm hoping for um polish pickup whenever they do the trick or treat we'll have some hocus pocus stuff Nightmare Before Christmas would be really cool, too. <gasps> Heidi! SNL skits would be hilarious. I love that. Oh, my goodness. You guys have good ideas. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and get into our greens. We have quite a few um, pretty greens this month. We didn't, like I said, have any yellows or oranges. So, jumping right into our greens. If you can call this one a green, I'm going to call it a green. So, Lindby Designs is bringing us a new series this month. Animal Magnetism is the series. Um, and I looked this up, and I don't know if it's like the theory of animal magnetism. I'm not sure, but it's really interesting. Um, oh my gosh, Carolina, the office! I don't know if that's been done before, but I would love it. Sorry. Back to, ooh, and superheroes. I'm getting distracted, you guys. <laughs> I should have asked it before. Oh. You guys have good ideas. Okay, sorry, distracted. Lindby Designs, Animal Magnetism is the theme, and the polish is Glamour Goose, which is a really fun name. It's described as being a black base magnetic with green to gold to red shifting magnetic flakies and tons of hollow flakies too. It's going to retail for $13, and there's a 250 bottle cap. Very pretty. Let me grab my magnet. I'll show you what it looks like magnetized in the bottle. Because that's always cool. Ooh. Pretty. <laughs> so it kind of pulls those gold pigments in. Really pretty. So it is, I guess it does have a black base. But what I see most on the nail, because it does have a jelly, um, formula what I see most on the nail is that 
green shimmer. Got a really smooth, easy to work with formula. Pretty sheer on that first coat. I'm gonna go ahead and magnetize it. I believe for my swatch photos for this one, I only magnetize the top coat because if it's a pretty sheer polish, that does help. You can see as I apply that magnet, you can see my nail line a little bit more clearly. And I feel like if you just apply the magnet on the top coat, then it helps it be a little bit more opaque on the first and second. Yes, I agree, JPT. I think that's how I'd probably wear this one is as a topper. <gasps> Brit, true crimes. Yes, I'd be all about that. I love true crime. Ooh. I, I don't know if magnetics stop working. I actually don't know that. Yeah, they're pretty fun, Connie. I like them. So there's that first coat. This one I think would look fabulous as a topper, like over black. Oh, yes, super pretty. All right, we'll come back to that one and add a second coat. Continuing with our greens, real true green here. This is MLF Lacquer's Butterfly Garden and it's part of their Butterfly series. It's described as being a green jelly base with rainbow crystal chameleon flakes gold sparks, purple sparks, and silver holographic ultra-fine glitters. It's going to retail for $11 and has a 100 bottle cap. It's a good price point, $11. Lots of places in there, too. Me too, uh, big heel. I, I love it. You said litter. <laughs> litter hollow top coat. I know what you mean. Going in with the first coat of the MLF Butterfly Garden, part of their Butterfly series. Definitely has a more jelly type base, but it's pretty opaque on that first coat. It's a really pretty green. I feel like we don't see many of this shade of green in Indie Polish. Super cool. So there is one coat of Butterfly Garden from MLF Lacquer. That one has a pretty low cap. These both actually have a cap. So the Lindy has a 250 bottle cap and the MLF Lacquer has only a 100 bottle cap. So if you like that one, then make sure you got it on your wish list and ready to go. And then continuing with our greens, lots of greens this month. I bet you green lovers are in heaven. <laughs> we have one from Rogue Lacquer, and it's called Trident. This is their Little Mermaid series. Maybe my favorite Disney movie of all time. Either Little Mermaid or Beauty and the Beast. So, really excited for the series. I can't wait for a Sebastian polish. But anyway, back to Trident. It's inspired by King Triton's tail and his trident. And it's described as being a teal green tally with gold to green color shifting flakes and gold metallic flakes. It's going to retail for $13 and has no cap. Look at those flakes, y'all. <sighs> yeah, you like them too? <laughs> it's gorgeous. This is um, July Hella Handmade Creations, Connie. Yeah, we still have a while until PPU, which is, thank goodness, for me. <laughs> a Big Teal. Is that why you picked that as your name? Big Teal, I always wondered. Is it your favorite? Your favorite color? Oh, my goodness. My dog is going crazy. All right, going in with that first coat of Trident. And Rogue Lacquer does these flaky polishes so well. It's got a jelly base. Lots of those gorgeous shifting flakies coming out and super even. So there is one coat of Trident. Look at those flakes, you guys. <laughs> and I actually already posted swatch photos of this one on my Instagram. If you're not following me there and you'd like to check those out, my handle is at Polish with Ray. <laughs> Easy to remember. Okay. Greenness is a like my blues. I feel you, Teal. I didn't like blue for a long time, and I still am kind of, yeah, 
on greens, but a teal I can get down with. I really do love teal. It's just one of my favorite colors, period. All right, and then our last one we're gonna do in this hand in this little color family is from Pampered Polishes. And it's another teal. Ah. <laughs> and this is the last polish in this series. It's their Bob's Burger series. So they're finishing it up with the Belchers, which is so funny. Um, it's described as being a deep teal jelly full of an assortment of white glitters, creating an all-in-one jelly sandwich effect. It retails for $12, and there's no cap. Yes, if you guys haven't checked out the overpours on the um, Hella Handmade Creation site, definitely check those out. I'm not very often able to grab those because I don't very often stay up until midnight <laughs> um, for the shop to open, and they sell out pretty quick. But they have some really, really cool overpours available every month. And those are just old polishes from Holy Handmade Creations that they're bringing back. So here's our first coat of the Belchers. And look how beautifully it applies. My goodness. I was sleeping on pampered polishes for a while. Shouldn't have. I majorly regret all the pretty polishes I've met because I missed. <laughs> because I haven't met one of um, Timberland's polishes I haven't absolutely loved. The formula has been amazing with everyone. So there is one coat of the Belchers. I do too, Big Peel. You get that beautiful contrast. And it's even prettier when you build it up because you can see all the glitters from the first and, and second layers. Oh, I love Tangled Carolina. Oh, Yeah, that, that has to be in my top three too. The music is just so good. So, so good. <laughs> you love it too, Heidi and Big Peel. It's so good. Oh yeah, I can't forget for it. I can't forget. They're gorgeous. Yay! All right, let's go in for a second coat. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Next to these others, you can see that this one definitely doesn't have a green base. But like I said, when you build it up, and you can see that on uh, her other swatch photos on the Hell and Made Creation site, when you build it up, you really get to see those green shimmers and um, it has a little bit of like kind of an olive -y look to it. But next to these, it's not looking too green, is it? So second coat of Lynn B. Designs Glamour Goose as part of their new Animal Magnetism series. Super, super pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, JPT, now I'm remembering that Rogue Overpour. There are a lot of pretty reds this month. There were some on the Overpour that I was wanting, and then there are some that are just being offered in the July shop. I want all of the reds. I might have to try to grab that one. So here's the second coat of the um, Lindby Designs Glamour Goose. And you can see it's building up a little bit better. It's definitely got a jelly base, so it's super squishy. When I built it up to three coats, I was still able to see some nail line, but if your nail line isn't as visible as mine is, or if you have shorter nails, I don't think that would be a problem for you. So there's two coats of Lindby Designs, Glamour Goose. Glamour Goose. <laughs> All right, next, moving on to the second coat of the MLF Lacquer Butterfly Garden. Super pretty bright green, like a grass green. lots of pretty flakes in there so this one I can see just a little bit of nail line in two coats but only in my studio lights so like un only under really bright lighting will you be able to see a second uh, your nail line if yours are similar to my link um, when I wore this one just like around my house I couldn't see any nail line so I'm gonna call it a two coater look at those flakes they're so pretty Goodness. So there are two coats of the MLF Lacquer Butterfly Garden. Super pretty. <laughs> it does, big deal. You could use it as some nail art for nail art. That's like the background. Um, some pasture or valley nail art. <laughs> what am I even talking about? Can you tell I'm I'm not very um, 
don't do nail art very often. Yeah. Yeah, me too, Jessica. Happy, pretty early birthday. <laughs> I love a good bamboo polish. All right, going in for the second coat of the Rogue Lacquer Trident. Part of their Little Mermaid series with all of those pretty flakies. This one I feel like is really different. I didn't have any polishes in this kind of shade. It is a teal base, but um, it has a pretty strong green lean to it, and it really deepens up on that second coat. So there are two coats of Rogue Lacquer Trident. This one's really pretty. And then last one on the end, this one was for sure opaque in two coats with which with a squishy jelly formula like it has is super impressive for me. Um, the glitters make it a little bit textured and they are a decent size, so they were a little bit challenging to remove. I would recommend a peel off base coat. That's what I usually do with glitters, but you could also soak them off. So there are two coats of the Belchers from Pampered Polishes, and you can see that um, like jelly sandwich effect she was talking about. That's so pretty. I want to see more polishes like this. The really rich jelly base is totally opaque in two coats. If you've got longer nails, you might need three, but two is good for me. Super pretty. So there are beautiful greens. And here's what they look like. Swatched in three coats. With these three, the Lindby Designs, the MLF Lacquer, and the Rogue Lacquer, I just did a top coat with the um, Lindby Designs since it was magnetic. I did the DRK Magnetic Magic? Magnetic? <laughs> magnetic Magic? I don't know. The special DRK Magnetic top coat I did on top of this one. Um, and you can see they are a little bit better that the line has kind of a 3D effect. It shifts like gold to copper. It's really pretty. And then with the Pampered Polishes one, I did a glitter smoothing top coat and then a regular glossy top coat. Gosh. <sighs> These makers are about to make a green lover out of me. So pretty. Um, good question. Heidi, I don't stain super easily. My nails aren't very porous, and but I didn't get any staining from it. So maybe, um, but I didn't get staining from it, if that helps. <laughs> Thanks, big deal. <laughs> yeah, if you guys uh, could like the video, that would be amazing. I would really appreciate that. Give it a thumbs up. That helps my channel. And then it also helps all these makers I'm sharing with you get exposures. Get exposures. Get exposure <laughs> to their small businesses. It helps them out too. So, always appreciated. Big peel off. Does Emily Damali have a peel off face coat? I didn't know that. I have, um, oh, good question, Latonda. I have the UNT one as well, but I've only worn it once because, if I'm being honest, I did not like it. I don't know what it is because people said that it didn't work for them. Like, the the polishes they put on top popped off within hours. For me, it was the opposite, and I couldn't get it off my nails. Like, it didn't peel off. I had to end up using regular uh, polish remover, which is really weird. Um, but I need to give it another shot. I still have it, so I'll try it again. The one I like most is um, the Hollow Taco Peely Base. I also have the... Is it Black Dahlia Wacker? I have one. Right over here. Yep. I also have this one, the Black Dahlia Lacquer one. This one I've heard amazing things about. Um, so I'm excited to try that one. I've tried it once, and it has a really long brush. It's a tall bottle. So the polish dripped down the stem of the brush and got a little bit too much on my nail. Um, and you're supposed to, with peel-off face coats, use really thin coats. So I wasn't able to get a thin coat with that one, which made me a little bit, I don't know about it. But I'm going to give it another shot and just try to be more careful with my application. Because I've heard with that peel-off base, it doesn't just come off. Like, 
you can wear the polishes you put on top of it for days before it'll come off. So I'm eager to try that one, but the Hollow Taco Peely Base is my tried and true. I think I've gone through six bottles. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I love it. I don't wear my polishes long though, so yeah. Sorry, that was probably too much information. <laughs> She's like, I'm never asking her a question again. There we go. <laughs> Greens are the best, Carolina. No, pinks are the best. <laughs> I'm getting uh, caught up. Janista, I hope I'm saying your name right. You're con convincing me to give the UNT another shot. I've heard great things. It could be my body chemistry. That's true, JPT. Yeah, that's good too, uh, Big Teal, because it's good to remember everybody's different. Different things work for different people. So just because it didn't work great for me doesn't mean you won't love it. I've heard some people don't like the Hollow Taco peel-off base, and I love it. So different, different, I don't remember the phrase. Different people like different things. I'll just say that. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll say too, I've only liked the water-based peel-off base coats. I've tried latex-based, blue-based base, uh, peel-off base coats. Oh my goodness. It was a nightmare for me. It like kept goofing up on my nails and it wouldn't lay flat. And I made all my polishes really bumpy. Oh gosh. I can't handle a, a blue-based one. But some people love those. I wish I did because I heard you can just make your own with literal glue. I don't know if I do that because I don't know if it's very skin safe, but <laughs> hard times, you know. Worst came to worst, you could just put glue on your nails, I guess. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. Yeah, same, Carolina. Yeah, I've heard people say for the hollow taco that it peels off within hours for them. But for me, I can wear it in the shower i can oil with it on i can go to sleep and wake up in the morning they're all still on um it usually is a little over 24 hours with a hollow taco that'll come off for me yeah for a few days oh you asked me jessica yeah <laughs> be a better person to ask because i wear polishes maybe for 24 hours max just from all the swatching unfortunately <laughs> all right now we're going to get into our blues Thank you guys for, uh, again, for coming and hanging out with me. We have eight more beautiful polishes to share. And we're starting with Heather's Hughes, Does She Remember Me? This is their Handmaid's Tale series, another show I'm obsessed with. I just finished the season finale for season four, whatever the most recent season was. And, oh my gosh, my heart. I won't give any spoilers, though. <laughs> but this one's described as being a blue curly base with small neon green, yellow, and pink glitters. It's got blue metallic micro flakes and iridescent pink to red to gold flakes. It retails for $12.50 and there's no cap. Oh, it is a bright, bright fun blue. Another really fun one for summer. Same Janista. I think even if I didn't swatch, I'd be changing my polishes up constantly because it's just so much fun. <laughs> I love uh, the process of changing my polish and I just love always having something different on my nails. Right, going in with that first coat of Heather's Hues, Does She Remember Me? It's got more of a jelly type base. Lots of those glitters come out. Should have had a little bit of more polish on my brush there. That's my bad. But there's our first coat of the Heather's Hues, Does She Remember Me? And I love the contrasting glitters. Oh, gosh. This one is really fun. And I'm not always a big glitter person, so these glitters, for me, are perfect. <laughs> Lots of them, but they're on the small side. We'll come back to a second coat of that one. Now we're going to pop in one that I didn't know I was going to have to share with you today, and I'm so excited. <laughs> I've actually never done any swatching for this brand. This is the first time I'm sharing one of their polishes, so that's exciting, too. It is from Girly Bits. Yay! And it's so gorgeous. I have quite a few Girly Bits polishes because I love them. Oh my goodness, look at that shimmer. 
This one's called Flower Pot Rocks, and they're continuing their Canadian road trip series. Hey, JJ. You made it just in time. Girly bit. <laughs> they're a Canadian brand. And JJ, I think you're from Canada, correct? I might be wrong. Um, this one is inspired by Hopewell Rocks in New Brunswick, Canada. I've never been to Canada, but someday I'll go. It's described as being a pale blue with strong pink to gold shifting shimmer and scattered holographic flakes. It's going to retail for $13, and there is a 300 bottle cap. Oh my gosh, I love this color. I love the shimmer. I love the hollow. It literally got in the mail, came in the mail like an hour before um, before I started streaming. So I was so excited it made it in time. This one is so gorgeous. All right, so going in with the first coat of Flower Pot Rocks, super smooth formula, tons of those hollow flakes, and the shimmer is just divine. <laughs> like I said, I'm a sucker for this kind of finish. The shifting shimmer and the hollow flakes gets me every time, you guys. Every time. <laughs> That's right, JPT. I imagine it's because... Um, since they're from Canada and I don't work with many makers that are outside of the U.S. just because it's a lot of work for them to get everything to American swatchers in time. Um, it has to go through customs and it's just a whole thing. So I'm so glad it made it. It's really pretty. So there's one coat of Flower Pot Rocks. Gosh, I love that one. Hey, Antoinette. That's a beautiful name. I love that name. I agree, Big Teal. I've loved everything that uh, that they've been putting out lately. So you really do put use glue? I Good to know it actually works, Brett. I've heard people talk about it, but I've never heard anyone I know talk about it, so I wasn't sure. <laughs> good to know. All right, and then continuing with blues, we have intake in. MTK Design, the Southern accent's coming out, y'all. MTK Design, this is a perfect day. And this is their Love Out of Time series. It's inspired by the movie Somewhere in Time. It's described as being a creamy aqua when warm, which is what you're seeing here. Um, and it turns to a bright lake, oh, sorry, no. Creamy aqua, it's kind of like a greeny, green-ish aqua color. Um, and then, it is a bright lake blue when cold. That's what you're looking at here. And it's got a beautiful bright gold shimmer, which look at that. It's so pretty. Um, it's also got some micro iridescent flakies. It's going to retail for $12, and there's no cap on this one. You're going to love it, um, Heidi. It is so creamy. The formula is beautiful. So going in with the first coat of the MTK design, a perfect day. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is a one coater. Yup, it sure is. <laughs> if you've got um, longer nails or if you're just one of those people that will not do one coaters, obviously you'll want two for this one, but I think Everybody and their mama would be okay with one coat for this one. It is super opaque, very creamy and smooth. I will say about MTK Design, if you haven't used their polishes before, their brushes did take me just a little bit of time to get used to. I don't see many brands with polishes like this. I'll show it to you. It's like a round brush, but it's wide enough um, where it didn't give me too many application issues. Like, I'm not great. <laughs> <laughs> at applying polishes and not having to clean up all the time, but you can see I was able to get relatively close to my, my cuticle and I didn't have to try that hard, so just wanted to put that out there. But there's one coat of a perfect day from MTK Design. It's this kind of um, like lake blue color, they call it. I think that's a perfect description. And then when it warms up, it is a thermal. It turns into a creamy aqua, like this greenish color. It's really pretty. Hopefully that one will warm up. If not, I'll try to heat up the swatch wheel to show you guys. <laughs> one hit wonder, that's right. Those are hard to come by. And then 
Last one on this hand is Music City Beauty. They are finishing up their Lady Gaga series this month. And they're bringing us Shallow. Ooh, look at that hollow. It's so soft. This one is described as being a light purple scattered holographic. It retails for $12 and there's a 100 bottle cap. I'd say it has a slight periwinkle lean to it. It said it was a scattered hollow. I think it has scattered and linear in it because I'm totally seeing some linear hollow in there. Regardless, gorgeous. Gorgeous. I know, Jessica. There are so many brands. So many brands, so little time. <laughs> so going in with the first coat of Shallow from Music City Beauty. Theirs, I would say, is a curly formula. Definitely has a strong, creamy lean to it. It has a slight squish factor. I love this kind of shade. It's so soft and pretty. So there's one coat of shallow. You can see my nail line just a little bit. I would say this is going to be a two-coater for pretty much everybody. If you've got really short nails, you might be able to get away with one, though. Maybe. Ooh, that's a perfect word. It's dainty. I like that JPT. Super dainty. Brett, you will love the girly bit. It's gorgeous. And I agree, Jillian, the Music City Beauty is perfect, too. All right, let's go in for second coats of all of these. Starting with the Heather's Hughes Handmaid's Tale, Does She Remember Me? Look at those fun glitters, you guys. So fun. <laughs> Ooh, Janista, thank you for letting me know. 50% off. Can't get better than that. For indies, it really doesn't get better than that. So this one surprised me on the second coat. It was absolutely opaque for me. If you've got longer nails, maybe you would need three for this one. But I think two will be good for most people. And tons of those glitters out. And the flakies in there are kind of on the subtle side. But they're definitely there and it's really pretty. So there are two coats of Heather's Hughes Does She Remember Me? The glitters, because they're so small in that one, um, they aren't too textured. They don't create too much texture on the nail. So I think you could get away with a glossy top coat, but I pretty much always go in with a glitter smoothing top coat because I'm extra. <laughs> um, but this one, I think you could get away with a glossy top coat. Removal's a little bit tough, but not too bad. All right, next going in with our second coat of Flower Pot Rocks. Yes. Flower pot rocks with that shimmer. Oh, it's making me emotional. <laughs> no, I'm a mess. Ooh, I didn't realize Night Owl is having a 20% off sale. Actually, I think I did. I need to get some of their polishes because their last collection looked gorgeous. And I love Night Owl laughter. The Phantom Flakies box went live today, too. It's Animal Crossing theme. Ooh, ooh. I love Animal Crossing. And Wildflower Lacquer is the guest maker. So there's the second coat of Girly Bits, Flower Pot Rocks. How frickin' pretty is that? Oh, shut your mouth. <laughs> Gorgeous. I agree, Janice, that it really plumped it up and just made it look finished. It was pretty much opaque on that first coat, but definitely opaque in two, I think, for almost everyone. I could just leave that on forever. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of, um, although it has a different shifting shimmer, Love Enduring from Disney's Locker, which was in last month's Phantom Flakies box. I love that polish so much. <laughs> and I'll take any polish. It's like that, but different shimmer. I love it. All right. Going on to the MTK Design A Perfect Day. And my fire alarm is going off. It's not real, though. It's been going off. A few times every day, which is exciting. Okay, it probably needs its battery changed. <laughs> Second coat of MTK Design A Perfect Day, which is pretty much a one coater, but for those of you that are adamant about adding a second coat, we will. It couldn't really get more opaque, but there you go. 
<laughs> two coats of MTK Design, A Perfect Day, and I love the gold shimmer in there. It's another one that's super dainty, like that one. Really pretty. Ooh, Miss Connie. Emotional. <laughs> that's me. Um, Connie, I love the Anchor and Heart Laughter base coat. And then the Cuticula My Drop base coat. These are like my tried and trues. You can see how much I love this one. Look, I'm almost out. I'm going to cry. <laughs> and the Anchor and Heart one would look like that, but I bought a, wait for it, giant refill. <laughs> it's called their Mermaid Tears base coat. I bought a huge refill and fill it up. This one, I'm about to buy another one. I wish Cuticula offered um, refills on this one, but this one's great. The Corality base coat is good, too. I'm almost done with that one. You can see. Love that one, too. I never follow the nail treatment, though, for it. Because um, I just swatch too much. It's like, a, put it on, apply an additional layer every day for a week. And then start it all over. Um, I never do that because time. But... Even just as a base coat under my nails, I feel like it's doing something. Yeah, the refill is great. Oh, really big peel. I'm going to have to uh, look into that. I actually haven't used the Corality one for much more than swatching, so I don't remember having staining. But like you said, everyone is different. So maybe if you're an easy stainer, then maybe it would stain you. Ooh, Orly Nail Defense. I need to try that. I love Orly. That was weird, good feel. I wonder if it just doesn't have, like, the protective properties of a regular base coat. Maybe. So, these swatch nails are out of order, sorry. I put this together, like, yesterday, and the grilly bits hadn't come in yet, of course, so... It's not on here, but I put it <laughs> at the end, so I'll go ahead and show you that, too. <laughs> yeah, but let me know, out of those four, which do you think you're picking up? The Heather's Hues, the bright blue with those gorgeous glitters, the girly bits with the shifting shimmer that you're seeing here, the MTK Design Thermal, or the Music City Beauty Shallow. Beautiful periwinkle, soft purple. They're all so pretty. I'm going to have to try that big deal. What's it called? Orly Nail Defense? Let me look. Yes. I'm going to have to try that. Because I do love Orly, and I love having something that's easy to get quickly. I love indie everything, but sometimes it's hard to get stuff fast. And sometimes I put stuff off to the last minute when I'm running out of something I need like nail oil. Right now I need nail oil so bad. <laughs> I've got like three cuticle oil pens and I know I'm going to go through those in like a week. Probably. Two weeks. Let's be real. Two weeks. What are your guys's, guys's? What are your favorite cuticle oils? <laughs> Let me know. What are your favorite cuticle oils? I've been using the one from Anchor and Heart, but I am open to trying something new. For sure. I agree, Latonda. I've had a lot of fun with Cobalt's this summer. Really pretty. I've been worn a lot of blues this summer. I don't know who I am. Having an identity crisis. <laughs> yeah, that different dimension is oh, so pretty. And at the end of the video today, I brought my... Matte top coat will mattify the swatch wheel so we can see what they look like matte. Because that's fun. <laughs> Liz Kiss. See, JJ, I was on their site last night and I was going to get, get that. Because I've heard from a lot of people. But it's good to know from an indie lover that they love Liz Kiss. Because, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I think people make recommendations and I don't know maybe it's the only thing they've tried and so that's what they like but if you've tried other things and you love Bliss Kiss I've got to try it because I've heard seriously amazing things about Bliss Kiss. 
Cuccio. I've heard good things about Cuccio too. And it's what it's so cheap. It's so inexpensive. You get that big, huge amount. Oh, I've got to try it. Um, Allison Fandom Flakies this month with Bees Knees Lacquer, Night Owl Lacquer, Wildflower Lacquer is Animal Crossing. And it's so cute. It's so cute. Thank you. But yeah, it's all three polishes are gorgeous. Okay, JJ, you've convinced me. That's the one I'm going to purchase. I'll probably place an order tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe I'll get the Cuccio too, because you can never have enough. I need to get some, so I have some at home. I have some at work, and then I have some in my purse. Hmm, I've heard good things about Matterhorn oil, too. Gotta love polish. Is Matterhorn the name of the polish, or is it its own kind of oil? Like, instead of almond oil or jojoba oil, it's Matterhorn. That's a silly question, but... <laughs> Alright, finishing it up, we've got four more beautiful polishes. Again, thanks so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, that helps my channel, it helps people find this video, and then it also helps all of these amazing makers that I get to work with. All right, so finishing it up, we've got one more purple, but I didn't group it with the other purple, the Music City Beauty, because they're quite different. I felt like it was similar to the next one I'm about to show you after this, and they're maybe the two most similar that I'm sharing with you today, the Bees Knees Lacquer, although they're a little bit different. We'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> All right, so going on with the Wildflower Lacquer, they are starting a brand new series this month inspired by Alice in Wonderland, which is just so much fun. This one is called Curious Oysters, and it's described as being a light lilac base with strong aqua to pink to purple shifting shimmer and scattered holographic. It's going to retail for $13, and there's no cap. And Wildflower Lacquer does shifting shimmers so well. I feel like in the bright lighting you're seeing mostly the shift from the green to the blue. Hopefully it's picking up on my camera well. Um, but in lower lighting you can see a shift as well to purple and pink. Oh, it's just so many colors in here. It's beautiful. And of course you can see, oh, look at that hollow too. Really beautiful. Yeah, Latonda, I, I recommend. I love a shifting shimmer. Always. Always love a shifting shimmer. So here's the first coat of Curious Oysters. Really smooth and easy to work with and quite opaque for a color this light. Oh, so pretty. And I can kind of see some of the purple at this angle. So there's one coat of Wildflower Lacquer Curious Oysters. You can see that green, blue, purple shimmer. I really like that one. And then, next we're coming to Bees Knees Lacquer. Yeah, I feel you, JPT. I didn't realize they were at all similar until I swatched them side by side on the swatch wheel. And then I was like, oh, these are kind of alike. And we'll talk about the differences after I uh, swatch this one for you. Um, but this is Bees Knees Lacquer Meteor Meteorite. <laughs> And it's continuing their Ghost Adventure series. This polish specifically, and I don't know much about Ghost Adventures, um, is inspired by the time Zach and Aaron chased each other with cow pies. <laughs> uh, okay. And it's described as being a pale gray polish with glowy green shimmer and loaded with hollow flakes. It's going to retail for $13 and has no cap. Yes, they sure are, JPT. Thank you for the reminder. They are. A site wide sale. So let's go in for that first coat of meteorite. It's a little bit on the sheer side in the first coat, but very smooth and even. This is my favorite finish from Disney's Lacquer. And they have some other polishes that are super similar to this. Carolina from Gotta Love Polish talked about it not that long ago. I think in her most recent haul video. Is that right, Carolina? There's Meteorite, and then there's a blue and purple one that just 
came out with their most recent collection. I will devour all of you and the purple one, pink one, its name escapes me. <laughs> and their sibling polishes to the same polish, Keep Reaching Out Your Hand, which has a gray base and then a copper shimmer. So it's like they all have these gray bases and then there's a blue one, there's a purple one, there's a copper one and I love all of them. They all have this gorgeous hollow running throughout. So there's one coat of these new lacquer meteorites. See, it's a little bit on the sheer side for that first coat, but I feel like the sheerness of it helps you see that shimmer even brighter. Like it's so, so glowy. Oh, it's gorgeous. I agree, big deal. They're gorgeous. So let me show you those side by side and talk about the differences. So the Wildflower Lacquer's base is, you can see, just slightly more purple leaning. They both have a gorgeous glowy green to blue shimmer, but the Wildflower Lacquer also has a purple to pink shifting shimmer that's on the subtle side, but it's still definitely visible. The Bees Knees Lacquer has a more, um, has those holographic flakes in there, which the Wildflower Lacquer does not have. I also feel like because the Bees Knees Lacquer is a little bit more sheer, that the glowy shimmer is more visible. Do you see how punchy it is? So it kind of just all depends on what you like more, it being purple and having some different shimmers, or do you like the hollow flakes and a brighter shimmer? This one is more opaque. This one's a little bit more sheer. The choice, maybe, I don't know. I probably wouldn't be able to just decide because <laughs> I hate making decisions like that. Um, I might get both, but I'm not telling you what to do. <laughs> you know what you like. So let's look at those since we're talking about them really quick on the swatch wheel. So there's the wildflower and then there's the bee's knees. And they both have that green to blue, but this one has scattered hollow, this one has hollow flakes, this one's more purple, this one's more gray. He's a little bit more glowy, but this one has the purple to pink. Choices, choices, people. <laughs> not easy all right we'll come back to those in a little bit that's true teal you could everyone loves me eventually thank you carolina thank you yeah it's really pretty oh no yeah it is sad about bc slacker they did make an announcement on their Facebook group, though. I think it was yesterday that they are going, planning at this point to stay in business until um, January or February. So if you're not part of the Bees Knees Lacquer Facebook group, initially when Bees Knees Lacquer announced they were closing, they would, weren't sure when they would close, um, but they did announce yesterday that because of um, the maker's surgeries and the schedule, when they're scheduled, because they're closing due to her health concerns, they think that they're going to be closing in January or February. Just so you know. And if you're not part of the Bees Knees Lacquer Facebook group, it's called Bees Knees Buzz. Um, I, I love that group. I love all the Facebook groups. <laughs> Sign me up for every nail polish Facebook group, please. It's the only reason I have Facebook. hopefully JPT, it sounded like it was more, I don't want to talk too much about her business, but it sounded like it was more of an issue with insurance, um, that it was delayed, unfortunately. Moving on a little bit. All right, moving on to the Swamp Gloss. So we've got a white and then a black and then second coats of these, then we'll mattify and we're done. Again, thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. Um, so Swamp Gloss is continuing their Archer Vice series with Outlaw Country. And it's described as being a white glow-in-the-dark crelly with matte hexes and dots in navy, neon pink, neon blue, neon yellow, and pastel pink. It's going to retail for $12.50 and has a 200 bottle cap. It's really pretty. I absolutely love, love, love Swamp Gloss's crellies. I never have to shake the bottle or leave it out upside down, and I always get tons of glitters out. And I love the neon um, glitter she always puts in. Aren't they so cute? Like the navy, the pink. Oh, got two pink ones side by side, jackpot. 
<laughs> so there's one coat of Swamp Gloss Outlaw Country. Application was super smooth and buttery. Because of those glitters, it dries down just a little bit textured, although it's not too bad. Um, so I did use a smoothing top coat on the swatch wheel and in my swatch photos. Um, it also makes it a little bit tough to remove. A little bit. Really cute. Yeah, I think it's super cute to teal. I love it. Same JJ. I hope she can um, find relief. Jillian, are you talking about the Phantom Flakies box? I can see too after I modify these. I don't want to keep you guys too long, but if you're interested in seeing it, um, I wouldn't mind watching those for you. Um, really quick on a swatch wheel after this is over, if I can hunt them down. <laughs> um, but it's um, Bees Knees Lacquer, Night Owl Lacquer, and um, Wildflower Lacquer this month collaborated to put together an Animal Crossing themed Phantom Flakies box. It's super cute. Yeah, I can give more details on that at the end if you'd like. Sure. All right, and then the last one, and Hella Handmade Creations that I have this month, is from Color Spectrum Polish, and guys, I'm obsessed with this one. So, so cute. Um, so, Color Spectrum is starting a new series this month on Bob Marley, and this one's called One Love, and it's so gorgeous. Ah, it's gorgeous. And I don't, I love vampy polishes, but I don't usually like black polishes, and this one has a black base. But this shimmer is beautiful. It's described as being a black base with rose red shimmer, lots of gold, pink to green to gold UCC flakes, and silver hollow glitters. It's going to retail for $12, and it has a 100 bottle cap. So that is one love. Just cut. It's gorgeous. It's so, so pretty. It, yeah, if you're going to grab one, Heidi, it should be this one. It's so, so nice. Right, so application, it has a jelly-ish base. Lots of those flakes come out no problem. She does have a more narrow brush, but I feel like all of her polishes that I've used anyway have a slightly jelly lean, so it does not make it hard to apply at all. It self-levels beautifully. So there's one coat of One Love from Color Spectrum, and I just love the flakes, the shimmer, and the hollow. It just has everything. <laughs> so pretty. All right, let's go for second coats of all of these pretties. And then we'll start wrapping it up. All right, second coat of the Wildflower Lacquer Curious Oysters. So, so beautiful. Same big teal. They have to have something a little extra to them for me to love black polishes. All right, so second coat of the Wildflower Lacquer is fully opaque for me, and I think it will be for most people. So there's two coats of the Wildflower. Super shifty. The hollow in here is gorgeous, too, in the sunlight. Seeing a lot of that green and blue in the bright lighting, but in lower lighting, you can see the purple and pink as well. <laughs> I agree, Big Teal. I love wearing them in um, around Jessica's birthday. <laughs> in October, I'll wear some, some black polishes, but most of the month, most other months, I won't. Oh, you do, Heidi? I didn't know that. Well, for you, I'm glad there are polishes that are still offering a narrow brush, because I know wide brushes are kind of taking over, and it must be hard on people who do like narrow uh, brushes. All right, and going in for the second coat of Bees Knees Lacquer Meteorite. That gorgeous glowy shimmer. This one, for day-to-day -day wear, I would totally wear in two coats. I think if you've got a nail length close to mine, two is fine for this one. If you've got nails longer than mine, you might need three. Um, and th I think in my swatch photos, maybe? Yeah, I think in my swatch photos, I also did this one in three coats. So there's two coats of Bees Knees Lacquer Meteorite. Super pretty. I just love this finish so, so much. And then going in with a second coat of Swamp Gloss, Country, oh, Outlaw Country, Country Outlaw, no, Outlaw Country. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of that Heidi Glam Polish has a skinny brush. Doesn't Emily Damali have a pretty skinny brush? I was surprised when I ordered from them that they were 
Echo Nero. Right, second coat. Which is so cute. And yeah, this one glows in the dark too, so added bonus. And it glows like a bright white in the dark. This one I would say is okay for everyday wear for me anyway. At my nail length and two coats, I would leave it at two. If you've got nails longer than mine, you'll definitely need three. Um, but for everyday wear for me for this one, two is good, which is pretty great for a white curly. So there's two coats of country. No, <laughs> outlaw country. Why do I keep calling it country outlaw? Come on, Rachel. <laughs> Super pretty. I knew you'd like the, um, the wildflower, Carolina. Carolina loves all things wildflower. <laughs> all right, and then last one, second coat of Color Spectrum's One Love. One love, one heart. And this one, sorry, I'm like trying to get a change of brush. I was like trying to flip it because I forgot it was not a wide flat brush. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you? You think it's a wide flat brush and it's turned on its side and then you're like, oh no, this is not a wide flat brush. <laughs> this one is absolutely beautiful in two coats. I think most people will be good for this one with this one in two coats. Gosh, and look at that shimmer. It's so bright and I feel like under my um, studio lights, you're not seeing as bright as it is. If you're on the fence for this one, definitely check out like the swatch photos on the site because the shimmer is bright. Yay! Aw, thanks Heidi. I've been singing all day. I've been in the mood for Britney Spears all day today. <laughs> oh gosh. It's beautiful. Yeah, I love it. So here are those four. The Wildflower Lacquer. The Bees Knees Lacquer, the Color Spectrum, and the, um, sorry, the Swamp Gloss and the Color Spectrum. Threw myself off there. For these three, I just used a regular glossy top coat. For the Swamp Gloss, I used a glitter smoothing top coat and then a glossy top coat. Super pretty. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I agree, JJ. The glow is just so pretty on the Bees Knees one. There they are. Gorgeous. <laughs> Heidi. <laughs> I know. Seriously. I got these to swatch and I went, oh no. <laughs> In July, July is always so hard. Why do they have to be so hard? I don't watch Archer, um, Carolina. I think I should give it another try because I tried it in college and I didn't really give it a, 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 a true chance. You know what I mean? I was kind of distracted when I was watching it, so I might try it again. I know you love it, though. <laughs> was that it, Big Teal? I was just so hypnotized by the beautiful shimmer. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so let me put a matte top coat on this, and then I will go try to find the Phantom Flaky stuff, too, and, and show you those really quick. All right. So let me know what um, the standouts were for you this month. Or is it just everything? <laughs> if you're like me, you're like, yeah, it's everything. All the shimmers, all the pinks and reds, even the greens got me. But you know it's bad when the greens get me. <laughs> By the way, the matte top coat I'm using is KB Shimmer O Matte Top Coat. And I looked on their site and I didn't see this on there. I wonder if it was just out of stock or if they don't make this anymore because I did get it a while ago. You guys will have to let me know if you have good matte top coat recommendations because I'm on the hunt. I'm searching. I know, Jessica, it's bad this month, and I mean that in the best way. <laughs> it's bad because it's so good. So many beautiful choices. Easy's Lacquer Wildflower Color Spectrum. All the everything. 
Uh oh, JJ, you missed the first half. There were some pretties. You might be in trouble, girl. <laughs> yeah, happy to do the swatch wheel. I just figured that was easier um, than making you guys sit through three coats of everything. Because some things do look nicer in three, but if you had to watch me swatch everything in three, that would be a very long video. Plus, this way we can do a little bit easier comparisons. Almost done. <laughs> you are going to go back to the beginning. JJ, you are brave. There are some pretties, though. I don't want you to miss the beginning because there are some really pretty ones at the beginning. Yep, the pinks got me, Carolina. I've been in, super into blues this summer, too. Oh, awesome, Heidi. Those were some of my favorites, too. Some of the stand out for me as well. Good for you, Big Teal, for setting a max. I have to do the same. Otherwise, I go crazy. All right. They're starting to mat up, so we'll take a look at them. Okay. So here's the Colorista Carol, the new kid in town. Looks really cool, Matt. Man, I'm wishing I would have worn that mat when I, when I actually wore it. Looks super cool. Um, here's the cuticula mat. It looks gorgeous with those flakies. The different dimension has kind of like a velvety finish mattified. Then there is the cupcake polish mat. There's the bluebird mat. Those pretty flakies. Ooh, okay, Lindy Designs. Look at that one, Matt. With that magnetic. I don't think I ever mat my magnetic polishes, but I obviously need to start. Whew, that's pretty. There's the MLF Lacquer One Mat and the Rogue Mat. Those, those are gorgeous. Can't resist the matte flaky. So pretty. Both of those. Then there's the Pampered Polish Mat. That looks really cool with the like pond effect with the glitters. Then there is the Heather's Hughes mat, and that one I was dying to make matte. Someone on their swatch photos on the site wore it matte, and I was like, oh my gosh, why didn't I do that? You can see the flakies. Ooh, you can see the flakies really well when it's matte. There's the MTK Design mat. So pretty. Remember, that one's a thermal. I didn't thermalize it for you. I'm sorry. I might try to do that after it's dried down. And there's the Music City Beauty mat. Oh, these are pretty. There's the Wildflower Lacquer mat, and I feel like when it's matte, I hope you guys can see it, but I see the pink and purple shimmer stronger now that it's matte. There's the Bees Knees Lacquer mat. That one's so glowy, too. The shimmer just blows through the matteness. <laughs> There's the Swamp Gloss Polish mat. Pretty. There's the Color Spectrum mat. These flakies mat, y'all. I can't. So pretty. And then there's the Girly Bits mat. Gosh, that one is so pretty too. And remember, the Hella Handmade Creation Shop opens on the 14th of the month. I think at 11.59 p.m. Yes, they're all pretty. Absolutely, you guys are so welcome. If you have any questions about Hella Handmade Creations, um, feel free to let me know, or you can reach out to them on their email. I find they're pretty responsive um, that way. Yeah, so many pretty options. Wee, I want to spit it. There we go. That was fun. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go try to find those um, Phantom Flakies box polishes to show you those really quick. Let's see if I can find them. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for coming. <laughs> I'm glad, JJ. It's so much fun to spin it. Oh, it's so pretty. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I just have too much fun sometimes. You guys. Okay. So I'll show you these Phantom Flakies ones really quick. I was actually planning originally to do a live stream for Phantom Flakies. But then um, I wanted to make sure I did Hello Handmade Creations before the sale went live. So if you don't know about Phantom Flakies, it is a monthly collaboration between Bees Knees Lacquer and Night Owl Lacquer with a guest maker each month. And um, they pick a theme or fandom to create polishes inspired by. And this month it's Animal Crossing, which is one of my favorite games ever. Um, it begins began today so the sale went live for the box today and it's a pre-order sale but they have so many boxes already made um each month so it might ship out pretty quick in my experience they usually do um yeah so i don't have descriptions for all of these because i wasn't planning to do this um but i'll tell you what i see in the polishes and swatch them for you really quick um Oh yeah, it's $30 for the three polishes, or you can, um, you have the option as well to add on some extras from Ribbit's Stickets, and I don't have those easy to access. Maybe I have a couple of the creams. Maybe you have a couple of creams and I have those out really quick. Um, yeah, but it's $30 plus shipping for three, to three polishes, which is a great deal. Um, so I'll start with the Bees Knees Lacquer, and they're bringing us how much for a turnip, which is so cute. I love that they use the turnip sales person <laughs> as their inspiration. So it's like a silvery shade with some shifting metallic shimmers, like multi-chrome shimmers, I think. It shifts copper to gold to green, and it's got some iridescent flakies and some holographic flakies. It actually has the same holographic flakies as Meteorite, but as you can see, they're super different. The shimmer is different. This one's more metallic looking. Really pretty, both of them. So this is how much for a turnip? Um, maybe it could be. Absolutely, Jessica. Happy to do it. I'm glad I'm able to swatch these because... Like I said, they're beautiful, and I love the theme, and I love Wildflower Locker. So I'm happy I get to share them with you. So there's one coat of How Much for a Turnip. And the shifting trimmer is really pretty. It's kind of metallic looking, and then it's got all of those flakies. Just gorgeous. We'll come back and add a little bit more to that one in a second. And then moving on to the Night Owl Lacquer, this is Wasp Sting. <laughs> and it's inspired by the first time that the Night Owl Lacquer family played this game and realized you could get stung by a wasp. And if you've played Animal Crossing before, you totally know that feeling. For me, it was a feeling of utter horror. <laughs> How long is my face going to be stuck this way? <laughs> um, but it is a bright, like school bus yellow but it's got a very slight mustard lean some beautiful metallic flakies um and maybe some yeah iridescent shifting flakies and i think some metallic flakies as well i love yellows and i knew as soon as i saw this i was going to be so excited <laughs> to wear it because i love night owl lacquer's formula i love it and yellows are tough to make beautiful but i knew they'd make it so beautiful and they did <laughs> so here's that first coat of wasp sting. Look at that. Oh gosh. Did you see how smooth that went on? Did you see it? So pretty. Golly. So that's that's wasp sting. Really gorgeous. I don't need to say anything else. I think so too, got a lot of polish. I feel like Night Owl makes a lot of the darker colors and not as many brights. Um, so I love seeing, seeing them make brights because obviously they do it really well. <laughs> they need to make more. And then the guest maker this month is Wildflower Lacquer and they made Mermaid Melody. I love that too. And here's that one. Oh, gorgeous. This one's like a soft 
blue-toned baby pink with tons and tons and tons of iridescent flakies. Wow. Beautiful. I know, Janista, they're making it hard on us. I feel like I need to skip the rest of the month for purchases, but I know myself and that's not happening, so. <sighs> Big sigh. All right, first coat of Mermaid Melody. This one just got a really beautiful jelly base and tons of those iridescent flakies. I find when I work with polishes that are packed with iridescent flakies like this, they do apply on the thicker side. Um, so I just try my best to go in with thin coats. Um, some people I've heard like to go in with a thinner on theirs and that helps, but I've never needed to do that. I just go in kind of thin on my coats. So there's one coat of Mermaid Melody. They're all three so pretty. <laughs> I love them. Ooh, sorry. Bumped ya. Alright, let's go in. Ooh, like candy floss. I like that, JJ. Alright, second coat of Bees Knees Lacquer. How much for a turnip? And this one was a little bit sheer on two coats i needed three coats for full opacity but look at it it's gorgeous in two See all of that shifty multi-chrome shimmer and all of those flakes as well and there is um good point heidi there is on facebook there's a fandom flakies group and they um have a BST buy sell trade thread so if you want just one or two of the polishes unfortunately you can't purchase them individually but you can um, if you don't de-stash you can de-stash them there try to, to sell them to someone there um, so yeah all right let's go in for a second coat of wasp sting from night owl lacquer this beautiful summer yellow This one, I had a little bit of nail line in two coats. It does have a squishy jelly base that's obviously so smooth. <laughs> um, so I did want three coats on this one. But if you're okay with a little bit of sheerness, two coats is fine. And I believe it was fully opaque for me in two coats. I mean, three coats. Gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, Heidi. They're gorgeous. When you see them in person, I, I think you will like them, but I see what you're saying. Yeah, I agree. The Facebook group is fantastic. They're really fun. All right. And then going in with the third coat of, or second coat, sorry, of Mermaid Melody from Wildflower. You see how it's a little bit thicker? It's just because it has so many flakies in it. But if you just smooth it out, I didn't have any problems with it being too thick. Oh, those legs. Like he heaven. Golly, that's really pretty. Like cotton candy, unicorn, mermaid, happiness. <laughs> so pretty. Um, I don't know if I'd call it a neon, but it definitely is bright. <laughs> Maybe it glows under black light though. Let me see. Do I have a black light? Uh, it does not glow under black light. Bummer. Not that I need that. <laughs> I mean, what am I what am I walking around in black light? <laughs> you never know though. Yay! Alright. Well, thank you guys so much again for hanging out. This was super, super fun. If you wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up, that really helps me and my channel. Um, and all these makers I get to share with you too. It helps them get their name out there and support their small business. Um, but this was super, super fun. Thank you for joining. Next week, I'll do another live stream on Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'll be doing a haul video because I did one last week. And I have a ton more polishes to share. <laughs> so we're hauling again next week, which is exciting. And then I also have a red to black multi-chrome video to share with you. I've compiled a bunch of red to black multi chrome, like almost 20, I think. And some of them are regular red to black standard multi chromes. And then some of them have um, 
specialty finishes like flakes and shimmers and hollows. So we'll be taking a closer look at those next week um, on my channel video wise, not live streaming wise. Um, but I hope you guys have a fantastic and safe and fun weekend. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. It was so fun. See you guys.